Hello everybody, today I'm going to be telling you about how to use supports so that your prints look more like this as opposed to this. And so this one used supports, this one did not. And you can see there's a big difference on that. On one side it's not so different, and on the bottom side, a very big difference. So let's go over how we can make our prints look more like this. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open flash print. Uh, and then once you go into the software, let's load the file we want to print. Load file. Scroll down. In this case, we're going to get this one open. All right. And this is the model we're going to be printing today. And the reason we need support is because we have these overhangs here. And another overhang with the arrow over here. So if you were to print this, you saw the consequence, right? That without support, you get all of these lines. So how do we avoid that? So let's add those supports, okay? And to demonstrate the difference, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna print one without support and one with support on the same run. All right, so let's select this, click move, and move it somewhere in the corner over here. Now we're gonna click duplicate, Click OK to get one more duplicate. Now we're going to move this. Click Move. And now we're going to move this to another area. And for this model, we're going to add support. For this model, we're going to keep the support off. All right, so let's look over here. And to add support, it's very easy. You come down here and you click Support. And what we want to do is we have two options for support. Option one is a uh, branch support which is used for surfaces that are irregular not flat so this is out of scope for us here what we're going to be working on is surfaces that are flat as you can see this is nice and flat so is the arrow and so what we want to use is these kinds of supports which are pillar supports okay and um to we have two options once we select the pillar supports we can change the degrees and the size of the pillar. But before that, I'm going to click auto support down here. And you see all these auto, it automatically puts supports on this uh, print. And <clears throat> we can vary two things. Like I said, the overhand threshold, let's vary that first. So at 20 degrees, you see that, at the lower number, you see a lot of supports forming around the edges over here, as, a, as also at inside over here around the arrow. If I were to change that to the highest setting, which is 85 degrees, and click Auto Support, you see that now this is no longer uh, so nice, nicely packed around the, the edges, right? So you get more gaps, so it's not as good, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, click, in this case, the lowest value, which is 20%, Auto Support. Yes, so I'm gonna keep it like that, so we're nice and close to the edges. And then if we were to uh, go ahead and slice this, click back, start slicing, slice, slice preview. And now we can see that even though the supports were touching, see how they're touching here and here and here. When you do the slice, it automatically puts a gap between your model and the actual support. So that's really good. And you can see it's nice and tight in terms of very close to your model. So you won't have too many big gaps. So you have very nice fine resolution. Also here with the arrow. Okay. Now, if I were to do something, you know, just before I finish this, also between your support, you have a single layer here that's not going to be printed. So you have a little bit of a distance between your support and your actual model. So you don't have to worry about it sticking, the support sticking to your model. It should come off. Okay. All right, so this is how I set it up ideally, you know, using the uh, 20, for this model specifically, 20 degrees and one millimeter pillars. What happens if we change the size of the pillar? All right, let's say we go to three millimeters. What would that do? Well, let's click auto support again, say yes. And you see this, it makes the pillars bigger. And let's take a look at that. And because it's bigger now, you're going to have some gaps here. Okay. Back. 
and then we can start slicing, slice that up and slice preview. And you see now there's, with the one millimeter we had very nice tight uh, edges where the support was close to your print. Here we have bigger gaps now on this side, so on this side as well, and also by the arrow. See that there we have some gaps here. And so I think that one millimeter support would look better. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back, right, let's go to supports, and then we're gonna switch that back to one millimeter so we get these nice tight curves. Yes, back. All right, so let's start slicing. Slice, slice preview. So again, for my model, the best setting was the pillar support uh, because I had the nice flat surfaces here and here. And second, the one millimeter uh, <clears throat> pillar size seems to have a very nice fine resolution around the edges here. And also the 20 degree overhang allows us again to get closer to these edges here. All right, so let's print this and we're gonna print both of these side by side and we'll see what they look like after. To do this, you click this button over here. You see the printer you wanna print it on. So you send it to that printer. It shows you the, what you're sending, say okay. And there you go, the file is being transferred to the printer. And now we'll go take a look at how it's printing. Okay, so now it's starting to print. And what it's going to do is the platform is going to lower, go back up again, and then a fine thread will be formed so that we can clean the nozzle. There we go. Now the nozzle is clean, and then it's going to start its print. The first layer typically prints a little slower than the subsequent layers. and now it's gonna continue to print and we're gonna go back and forth or we're gonna be looking at it at different times just gonna be skipping some gaps just to get this through quicker and on the left we're printing the support and you can see the support already on the right there is no support and you can see there's a gap in the middle of the model and uh, it's hard to see now but you see it's forming that bridge but it's not forming a very nice there's gaps in there and lines that are not really able to support themselves. Hence the support on the left is needed and it's making it nice and smooth. All right, so the model is finished. It's going down and now we're gonna be detaching both models from the platform. And if you didn't know, you could take that off and just peel, you know, bend a little bit and peel it off. Be careful not to bend your uh, platform. Put it back on. Now we're gonna take out the support from the arrow. That comes off nice and easy. It was a little more challenging to take the support off of the Volvo sign, but it does come off and you see it's a nice clean out coming off. Yep, so it's really nice and smooth. And if we compare the model to the left for the support and to the right without the support, you can clearly see the difference. All right guys, so here we can see again the clear difference with and without supports. So it's much better to use supports. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time.